Forgive me if my account has been colored by what he once described as my unswerving loyalty, and let me conclude with this. Away from his political battles, where he had to fight hard and strong, he was gentle and committed when helping individuals around him. Throughout his life, the way Ben helped people, earned him the friendship and love of many. He lived among the people, preferring the bus to a taxi, even in his last days. Perhaps he felt embarrassed that so often taxi drivers refused to take a fare from him. He always helped his sons and his daughters-in-law and his grandchildren, his parents, siblings, nieces, nephews, and countless others. He would read books to his grandchildren and even-handedly judge competitions at birthday parties. He was a dear uncle too to many other young people. Severe when he did not smile, his face was transformed by that hundred-watt grin, as famous as his mutton chop sideburns, that every one of his grandchildren and babies loved to pull. The closer to him you were, the more his smile lit up your life. A great man, a lion, so many have said, but a nice man, a kind man too. In the end, his life carried a simple meaning for all of us. No matter who we are, we can do something, we must do something to make this world a better place. Finally, thank you for Jamie J's heart for the underdog and the needy. We remember that he, as lawyer, member of parliament, politician, and often just as a fellow human being, he never walked away on the other side from a person in need. Thank you for his fatherly love towards his friends, and especially for the way in which he was a father to his two sons, his grandfather to his grandchildren, and the loving husband he was to his wife. Now, Lord, by your grace, he has fought the good fight, finished his race, and kept the faith. You are the one who has watched over him from his going out and the dawn of his life to his coming home to you now in glory. He belongs to your everlasting kingdom. So we bless you that for him, the tribulations of this world are over and death is past. And we pray that you will bring us together with all your people to the joy of your perfect kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord.